Well, we have heard that uh, that teal is your favorite color, and thanks to Darren and his record company and stuff like that, he's actually going to play a song on your new guitar. <gasps> oh, my God. <laughs> So every year we do this really cool contest to send kids to Camp Electric. And it's kind of like Camp Rock, but it's done by some of today's best Christian artists where they get to learn not only their craft, but go deeper in their faith. And it was really cool because we did the contest and Brianna was our winner this year. And she has a really cool story. Her grandma, Bobby Joseph, told it to us. And she grew up in a home with a disabled mother, has lots of siblings. There's some abuse that they're now out of, but just a lot of bouncing around in Brianna's childhood. But she taught herself guitar and that's kind of what got her through it. And even bought herself a guitar from Goodwill for $10 and kind of taught herself how to play on that. And that's kind of gotten her through everything. So with that, we wanted to, uh, you know, not only just send her to camp, we have a surprise for her. We wanted to do something kind of fun. And uh, so we're going to FaceTime her right now. Brianna, how are you, girl? I am amazing. How about you guys? Well, uh, not as amazing as you because I'm not wearing like a tiara <laughs> or whatever that is because it looks fantastic. So Thank you are you. fresh off of your trip to Camp Electric. Fill us in. How did it go? What was it like for you? It was incredible. There was there were so many amazing opportunities. I loved the people that I got to meet and the friends that I made, I took a couple of the classes and it was great to just hear insight into um, music as a career and how to get better as an artist, how to improve yourself. It was just a great opportunity in general. Yeah, one of the things my daughter, when she went to Camp Electric, she met friends that she has stayed in contact with. Now they're in college and they still talk weekly. And, and so I'm really glad that that was your experience as well. Did you like kind of the chances to just sit around and, uh, you know, play with other kids and do music with them as well? That was incredible. You'd walk out of the dorms and you'd see just groups of people gathered around just playing music or doing their own thing. There were so many different jam sessions and like <laughs> you could just sit down and join in. Like it, it wasn't even like groups of friends or groups of a youth group that went. It was like you went there and you were instantly accepted. How was it to see some of the artists perform at Camp Electric? It was incredible. It was amazing. It was a bit loud. But, you <laughs> well, know, Brianna, there's a rule. If it's too loud, you're too old. And you're like, what, 13? <laughs> Come on, girl. <laughs> Who was your favorite Irish band uh, that was uh, performing at uh, Camp Electric? You might not have even known that they were Irish. I definitely didn't know of any of them. Well, he tries to hide his uh, accent a lot. It's We Are Messengers. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. I took a, one of my main classes was from their guitarist. Oh, yeah. My, uh, 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 Kyle. Kyle, yes. Yeah, Kyle. And, you know, they have another guy that started the band, and his name is Darren. That's how he says it in Irish. Uh, <laughs> in and Irish. actually, as a little surprise for you, we actually have Darren here with us. Darren, come on in and oh. say hi to Brianna. Come here, buddy. What's up, Brianna? How you doing? Hi. <laughs> good to see you. I love it. Is that a tiara? It looks like a tiara. <laughs> they're cat ears. Wow. <laughs> yeah, we're guys. We don't know that they're cat ears. That's our fault. That's our fault. We should have been able to instantly. Becca, you were supposed to help us <laughs> with sorry. cat ears. I'm sorry. I wanted to see you flounder a little bit. <laughs> I knew they were cat ears. Of course. I should <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, this is really cool. So did you get to see We Are Messengers play? I did. I did. Were we the um, one that was too loud, Brianna? No. <laughs> no you, guys were, you guys were a lot better than some of the other ones that were up there. Oh. <laughs> uh, that's so nice. That's great. I think that's a compliment. I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> She's funny, dude. So did you enjoy, Darren, being at Camp Electric with the kids? Uh, uh, yeah, it was so much fun. You see, when we were uh, not just playing, but when we were hanging out with you guys, there, there's a scripture that talks about when you're young, don't despise your youth, you know? And so for me, when I'm around young people, I get really encouraged because I see all this hope and all this potential. And I see that coming out in you guys. And, you know, Wally's been telling me a little about your journey. And so what I would say is um, that this is just an example of God seeing you. And there's been times in your life where you think that you're not seen, that you're not known, you know, that you're invisible. And I would say the fact that you know, Wally, these people at Way FM, the people at Camp Electric, that they showed you so much love. That's just God reaching out to you and saying, I see you, I know you, you're not on your own, you're not the only one that feels like this, and this thing's going to be all right. Why am I the only one getting choked up? <laughs> I think she is too, but I'm about to cry.
<laughs> See, and that's why I love Camp Electric because they have people like Darren there that are all about speaking into the kids, you know, musically, definitely. But man, that that is the kind of word that probably you need to hear sometimes, right, Brianna? Absolutely, a hundred percent. Do you a feel a lot of times with being younger, there are so many people who are like, you can't make it in music, or you can't do that because there's so many people who want to. Mm. And it's always great to have like passionate people telling you, no, you can. You just need to work hard and work for it. I wanted Darren to come in and just play a little bit of a song uh, that they have, uh, Maybe It's Okay, uh, for you uh, right now. And so you can see, you know, how this happens. Uh, let me get the guitar for you real quick, okay? <laughs> um, this, if you'll notice, is uh, Darren's, not his signature guitar uh, that he normally travels with. It's 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 a little uh, uh, bluer or tealer, a little girly, I think. Wouldn't you? Would, is this more girly? <laughs> Maybe. I mean, I think teal is a gender neutral color. First. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, we have heard that uh, that teal is your favorite color, and thanks to Darren and his record company and stuff like that, he's actually going to play a song on your new guitar. Oh my gosh! Are you kidding? No, that no. is yours, and we are uh, gonna. Uh, when he's done playing, we're gonna package it all up and uh, send it out to you. And so that next time you go to Camp Electric or next time you're playing and you're just doing music, you got a brand new nice guitar. Because I, I had heard that you uh, didn't like your guitar that you got, you know, when you were at camp, and and that there was like times you felt like, oh, is it good enough? And so we wanted to give you a, a leg up here with a new guitar. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Sweet, yeah, she's <laughs> awesome. She's so sweet. The teal and the sparkles didn't quite go with uh, Darren's band getup, so <laughs> we thought we'd give it to you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, I tell you, let me, I'm going to sing you, so that song, Maybe It's Okay, right? When I think about what I've heard about your life, um, and me and Wally were just saying, like, a lot of the time we don't really understand what, you know, kids your age are going through and have walked through, Um but I would just encourage that you're not on your own, you know. And so I'll sing this a little bit of this song. It's called Maybe It's Okay, right? And when it's done, this is your guitar. We're going to get this shipped out to you. And, uh, and yeah, I hope it stays with you forever. I'll right? make sure at the end he doesn't do a rock star thing and smash it. <laughs> you know, like, that'd be great. Like, here's your guitar. <laughs> this, this is maybe the, uh, the most girly guitar I've ever played. <laughs> if I didn't know what it hurt like. To be broken Then how would I know What it feels like To be whole That's for you If I didn't know What it cuts like To be rejected Then I wouldn't know The joy of Coming home And maybe it's okay If I'm not okay Cause the one who holds the world is holding on to me And maybe it's alright If I'm not alright Cause the one who holds the stars is holding my whole life there you go. <laughs> Nicely done. Now we expect you to play that a thousand times better when you get the guitar, okay, Brianna? Oh, that's pretty hard. <laughs> <laughs> we come in here just to get abused. Brianna, you know <laughs> well, Brianna, we could not have had a better winner for this year's Camp Electric, so we're so glad that you had such a great experience there, and we can't wait to see where God and this guitar take you. Thank you so much.